Just as Ukraine received its much-awaited first F-16S from the West, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky expressed frustration over Western nations' reluctance to escalate their involvement in Ukraine's conflict with Russia. Zelensky emphasized that Kiev is working to erode the concerns of its international allies, who he believes are too fearful of escalation with Russia. Zelensky revealed that Ukraine is actively urging NATO members to form a coalition aimed at intercepting Russian missiles, a proposal that has thus far been met with resistance from the US-led alliance. The Ukrainian leader underscored his country's desire for more direct support, specifically in the form of shooting down Russian drones and missiles over Ukrainian airspace. However, these appeals have been consistently rebuffed by foreign powers, wary of engaging in a direct military confrontation with Moscow. We need to develop technical capabilities to enable the use of other aviation from neighboring countries against certain missiles that are launched. Yes, they hit Ukraine, but they are directed at our neighbors, partners, of course, especially the countries of the Alliance. I think this decision is probably a difficult one for our partners. They are always afraid of unnecessary escalation. We are struggling with this. We will work on it. And I think we have a good option of a NATO-Ukraine council. Since the beginning of the conflict with Russia in February 2022, Zelensky has persistently advocated for the establishment of a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Military analysts argue that such a measure would necessitate NATO forces engaging Russian aircraft, potentially extending to strikes on Russian airfields, a step many Western nations are unwilling to take. Last month, discussions surfaced regarding a more limited defensive shield over Western Ukraine, coinciding with a security agreement between Kiev and Warsaw. While Poland expressed tentative support for this idea, contingent on NATO's approval, other nations, notably the US, remained opposed. Zelensky's remarks came after the confirmation of the delivery of US-designed F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. At the ceremony, he warned Russia that it was a very dangerous day. I can't for today give you to give you details uh, with, uh, with the missions. I think you will see, maybe not all of them, but you will see the result. We will decide to command if it was the result with F-16 or not. It's, it's not, I mean, this, it's not the, the, the moment for this. I think it's very dangerous for today. We need to do all the security measures we've been discussed with our partners about using F-16. But anyway, these jets are in our sky. Meanwhile, Zelensky also announced that significant decisions were underway regarding the use of frozen Russian assets to support Ukraine. He revealed that discussions with European and American partners were focused on concrete plans for this funding, which could reach up to $50 billion. There is a G7, Group of Seven, decision on $50 billion for Ukraine from the use of Russian assets, and we are now working with our partners in Europe and America on concrete implementation. We have coordinated our position today on how to approach the actual receipt of funds. This is something that is critical for Ukraine and can strengthen us in this particular fall and winter season. Zelensky emphasized the critical importance of this financial support to fortify Ukraine as it faces the challenges of autumn and winter. Additionally, he reported that $3.9 billion had already been transferred to Ukraine from the US and that efforts were ongoing with the European Union to secure approximately 4 billion euros in further assistance. We have now received a new inflow from the United States. $3.9 billion has been transferred to the Ukrainian Treasury account. I am grateful to our partners for their support. We are also working with the European Union to obtain about 4 billion euros in assistance that Ukraine needs in August. 
The fund transfer and arrival of F-16 is likely to invite Russia ire in coming days.